Hey, if you're just joining us, again, uh, we're with Dr. Paul Lawrence, the former Undersecretary of the VA and the author of this book, Veteran Benefits for You. Uh, it is available it's super cheap on Amazon. I highly recommend it to every veteran. I've done videos on it. All right, so when I was a congressional staffer, I had lots of complaints about this, and it happens all the time on my social media. This question pops up. There's too many people. I mean, several people have just asked me, so I'll just ask you directly. They're told that their VR and E counselors are informing them that they cannot receive a master's degree using the VR and E program. Is that an actual rule? Is that actual code of federal regulation that you cannot receive your master's with the VR and E program? No, that's absolutely false. So let's let's talk about what let's talk about VR and E, Veterans Readiness and Employment, used yes. to be Voc Rehab. Okay, yes. is a special benefit to uh, veterans who are service connected, ten percent or more. And so the idea behind it is, of course, you know, you went off to service and you had some plan of getting a job. Maybe you're going to be a teacher. You're going to stand for long periods of time. Um, you cannot be a teacher in this example I'm making up. What this entitles you to is to meet with a counselor and have them look at what are the possibilities that would make sense for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, often it's a test, it's a meeting, it's kind of whatever. Okay, and so this is designed to limit people. Hey, I want to be a rocket scientist. And, you know, you didn't even pass high school biology. That's not that's not going to happen. Okay, right. but what that's supposed to do is essentially set in motion the beginning of the development of a plan. What makes sense for you to kind of pursue a life now post service, given that you're service connected? That plan sets in motion a series of things. Often it can be education, often it can be special training, whatever you need to pursue that thing. Okay. It is at that point that this kind of happens, right? The counselor does some evaluation somehow and concludes, no, I, I'm not gonna, I don't think you should get a master's degree to go off and do something mm -hmm. or like whatever, okay? So that conversation has not gone the way the veteran had done it. There's nothing wrong. All counselors are, you know, receive the same training, but they often come up with different opinions and often the same, on virtually the same set of circumstances would be rendered by different, decisions would be rendered by counselors that are different. Okay, it's very frustrating. Again, think about mm -hmm. the appeals process, but it is absolutely false to say there is a hard rule that nobody gets a master's degree. The R&E has been used to pay for master's degrees, doctor degrees, a whole set of it because they felt, the counselor felt, that was appropriate for the veteran's path to get them into like, you know, what's called sustainable employment. Right?